What is going on guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see from the title of the video today, we're doing more Infant Annihilator. We're doing Blasphemian. And I'll be honest, I'm a little bit nervous because with this band, it seems to bring controversy. Whether it be the ridiculous sound. Even more ridiculous lyrics. or the controversy surrounding the tempo of the drumming and everything else involved from an instrumental standpoint. There just is a lot of controversy and I've noticed that with the two videos that I've done from these guys so far. I mean, these guys to me serve the purpose of more of a meme style metal. I can appreciate that there is a lot of elements that are very technical and like insanely, insanely talented elements to it, but there's also that kind of asterisk beside everything because the speed at which they do everything just seems to be a little bit crazy and I've seen literally it's the comments are split 50-50 between people saying that Aaron Kitcher can play these tracks live and he can't so I'm just completely on the fence and I think for this video because apparently it's quite fucked up as well I'm just going to sit on the fence for this just watch the video and it, like just take it all in as opposed to trying to figure out what's going on because I think that's where your brain can get a little bit melted with these guys. Like we said, the track's called Blasphemian. It's a seven and a half minute long video. And apparently this vocalist on this track is different to the one that was on Cunt Crusher. So, I mean, whatever difference that makes, I'm not sure. I'm sure it'll be similar style, or maybe we're just in for a treat. I don't really know what to expect. Yeah, but any further, you guys, try the headphones on, enjoy this one with me, or like maybe not enjoy this one with me. I don't, can you enjoy this music? I don't know. Yeah, let's go. Oh, a nice mellow start. Come on. Here are, here are they really trying to fill here, like, come on. Let's cut to the, let's cut to the chase. I, I actually, I don't think I can believe that that is real. I don't know, but li listen to it, it doesn't sound real. Like There has to be an element of programming to that. People probably come for me for that, I, I don't really give a fuck. That's just what it sounds like. I mean, if it is happen does happen to be real, then it is just a compliment because, I mean, it sounds programmed, he's doing it that fast, but logic would suggest that if he's the only one that I've ever heard that can do it that fast, it's very unlikely that Aaron Kitcher is the only person on planet Earth that can do that, you know, I mean, there has to have been someone else who can like do a double bass kick that fast 
but seemingly there doesn't seem to be any other people that can do that. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. To me, I feel like you'd hear a lot more examples of this if it was possible. I don't know, it's just, it just seems a little bit far-fetched. Could be wrong. And if I am wrong, congrats Aaron Kitcher. Take that as a compliment. <laughs> So the, the groove that we just got before this drop and this break here, and to an extent this break as well, is it's doable. I mean, growls and the real death growls are still a bit much, you know, I'm not the biggest fan. I've made that clear throughout this whole journey of watching these videos. But that groove I can get behind, 100%. You can see it in my reaction. I like that kind of shit. Still borderline on the part of like, you're losing me a bit, but... I mean, yeah, even if like we go back to the drums and everything and the, the even if it is programmed, like the speed doesn't matter to me. It's like when someone says that they can rap really fast. Unless it sounds good, I mean, and like you're actually saying something of substance, I don't really give a shit. Like it's like oh a rapper can he's like the fastest rapper in the world. Yeah, but it's like he's not speaking about anything, he's not saying anything meaningful. It's kinda like that, you know, it's you can either program a drum or you can't actually do that so fast that it sounds like it's programmed. But if it sounds shit and I can't actually find any grit rhythm to it, then I just don't see the point. So something like this has a lot more weight to me and like from a band and a like re-listenable standpoint, this sounds so much better than just someone who can play a drum really, really fast. You know what I mean? <laughs>
sack with legs. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. point is this is not music anymore. Can I pick that doll? No. Can I pick that doll? No, he's Can I pick that doll? As far as critiquing music goes, I feel like I'm really open-minded and I'll listen to a lot of music and I'll, without just saying it shit, I'll appreciate it, the elements that I do like and I'll make it be known what I do like and what I don't like and why I think it's, you know, requires talent. But these guys, I mean, I'm... Yeah. yeah, that really says it all to be honest. I don't know what to say. Like, the ability to actually come up with some of these lyrics is genuinely a talent in itself. It's like the most descriptive, disgusting, brutal lyrics I've even read. Like, I didn't even look for this line, I literally just looked right at it. That was the first thing I seen. The stench of feces and fertile flesh drifts across the dawn horizon. The moist skin of fetuses gleam as the sun peaks through the darkness. The mist lingering over the lakes, now cesspools of human remains, clears to reveal a mountainous landscape of piled cadavers. Like, Jesus Christ. Learning from my mistakes from delving into the lyrics of my last reaction to Infant Annihilator, I'm not going to do that in this one. So we are going to leave it there guys, I have absolutely nothing left to say. Um, I mean, I will continue to do reactions on these guys if the hype is there because it's going to require a bit of hype from you guys to like put myself through this again and honestly though like obviously i'm joking about that it's it's a lot but i mean it's still just a video like i need to relax a bit but if you do guys if you guys do want to see more of these videos do let me know i mean like i, I don't really like these guys from a sound perspective um they're a lot and there's just a lot of controversy the lyrics are too much the sound is in it's too, I can't ever imagine myself in a scenario where I want to listen to that unless I'm like about to go and Yeah, I'm gonna stop that sentence there But obviously I've read into the comments in the last few videos people have given me scenarios in which they would listen to it They've also said that it's kind of like me music where it's like they're just trying to be as brutal as possible But they're actually like nice lads. I mean so I mean I kind of get it to an extent, but it is Terrifyingly weird their music incredibly talented outside of the controversy surrounding the drumming and everything But I mean again, I'm not, not gonna delve too deep into that again I've already spoken about it again. I'm still open to like I said I'm sitting on the fence with these guys you guys can make up your own minds on whether or not the drums are programmed Some people are saying they're not some people are saying there are there was less reason for me to believe that they're programmed from that track There was that one segment at the start in the first two or three minutes or so where I was kind of like, okay, that's not possible but I mean the rest of it sounds pretty normal. I know it was kind of like on the outro as well The very last like second of the track it sped up a lot as well So I mean that's probably possible at the very end, you know, but like midway through when you're doing everything else Seems a bit much. Let me know in the comments guys If you do want to see more Infinite Annihilator, it'd be much appreciated. Let me know by dropping a like as well It'd be much appreciated. Also sub to the channel if you have not already. And yeah, I'm sorry now guys. Take it easy. Cheers <laughs>